Well, the fighting here is continuing into a seventh day. We've just seen an Israeli airstrike right down in the south of the Gaza Strip. The Israeli military says that it targeted more than 40 sites here in Gaza overnight and that it killed a number of militants from both Islamic Jihad and Hamas. At the same time, it says that there were more than 20 rockets fired since midnight at Israeli towns and cities. And it's also downed a drone over the southern Israeli city of Ashdod, which it says came from Hamas. As you were saying, thousands of Palestinians remain uh, in temporary shelters after having fled their homes, which are in the border area close to Israel in the north of the Gaza Strip. They were told there's going to be a heavy bombardment of this area. This is where Israel says that uh, militants are hiding a lot of their weapons and it's using launch sites in this area to target Israel and its territory. Um, so those people now waiting in their temporary shelters to see how long they'll have to stay away for. At the same time, more and more international calls building up for some kind of ceasefire. The UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has said that too many civilians have been killed in this conflict and he's tried to persuade Israel not to go for some kind of a ground invasion which could lead to more civilian deaths. We know that the US Secretary of State, John Kerry, has called the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu once again and restated the American offer to mediate and try to broker some kind of truce.